Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you for introducing myself. Myself, Ayush, and I'm from Faridabad, Uttar Pradesh. Currently living in Ghaziabad, and I have graduated from IMS in college and done B.Tech, a specialization in information technology. I in academics, I have scored 9.4 in 10th standard, 65 in 12th, and 7.9 in B.Tech. And about my technical skill, I have keen interest in Java, DBMS, and data structure algorithm, Angular, Spring Boot, JUnit, and Postman like that. And apart from that, I have done several projects. And I, I my hobbies are just cool, internet surfing, and geopolitics. And I am just an optimistic person and con- consider uh, consider myself as a focused person. That's all about me. Thank you so much. Okay, you have mentioned your academics, right? Uh, in tenth, you have nine point four something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In twelfth, uh, like six point five. So sixty five percent. Yeah. Yeah, sixty five percent. So in many cases, I have seen like people will be uh in increasing way, right? Or decrease, then they will be a little bit decrease. Just like uh, it, you have ninety four percent, then there will be ninety percent. So this much decreasement from is there any like uh, specific reason? Actually, I didn't understand. Can you repeat? In tenth, you are having ninety four percent, right? Yeah, yeah, I ninety four. But in twelfth, you are getting a sixty five percent. Yeah, that uh, basically you mean to say that for what is the difference between and why it's a distance scale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, in my knowledge, that level of twelfth is little bit high as compared to tenth. Yeah, but your tenth mind is- and uh, your knowledge also growing according to that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the one of the main factor is you are how much you aware about and prepare eleventh and twelfth, and at that time in eleventh and twelfth I'm not aware just like uh, now just I'm aware uh, that the difference create in my percentage in twelfth. Okay, okay, not a problem. So <laughs> you have mentioned like you have uh just work some on projects and you have uh, have something skills like JVMS Java and all right. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So let, let me start from uh from Java basic. Okay. Okay. So what do you think like is Java is fully platform independent? Like why we say that if we if you are agree on that my point like Java is platform independent, then is it fully Java platform independent? Uh, java is fully independent uh, the byte code of uh, if there is a source code the compile the compiler compile the code into byte code the byte code is uh, machine independent and the source code is dependent machine dependent okay so you are saying full java is a platform independent so do yeah. i remove if i just have my java software okay if i remove that particular uh, machine your uh, software you are installing on your machine right yeah. if you remove that then also that uh, part will be uh, like fully agreed on java is completely independent because as per my knowledge only your language which makes java byte code right but uh, if you are installing your java on linux or windows that will be platform dependent only yeah the byte code uh, suppose the compile uh, the code is compiled into byte code the byte code is run on every machine uh, linux mac every everywhere yeah so that's what right the language the software you are installing that gave him that half partially independent then right yeah 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 i agree on Okay, so let's uh, moving uh, to your next questions. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, let's suppose you have one requirement. Okay, uh, you are working on some project, and there you need to uh, make some login uh, system. Okay, yeah. you are having a various users, so you have to store your passwords somewhere. Okay. okay. So what, like? proper data structure you will follow what is the like either it is wrapper classes or primitive data type or if i want to give you the uh, like two choices there is a string data type and one is a character array data type which one you will choose and will one, string why uh, because in character there is store only a let uh, only a letter while a string is a is a formation of word that's why I choose string. You mean to say character is storing only one word and string is choosing a fully like a string type. Uh, you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, just look at once. This is not right because let me uh, just uh, search it after the interview. Okay. Okay. Uh, and could you please share your screen? What? 
uh, please share your screen. I just uh, I will share sure, some sure, photos. Sure, 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 sure. Share your screen and open Notepad. Uh, is it visible to you? Yeah, visible. I hope the Notepad is visible to you. Yeah, yeah, visible. Yeah. So, what you have to do, uh, like, do you know about serialization and deserialization? No. Okay. Do you know about singleton class? Singleton class. I heard the name and uh, read about it, uh, but I didn't uh, know about it right now. So, okay, you read about it, right? But uh, how much you have knowledge about singleton class? Just let me know, like, how much you know about it. Uh, singleton classes is no idea, no idea, no idea. Okay, not a problem. Then uh, serializable also you don't know, right? No, no, no. Okay, so you need to uh, actually work on your Java core. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, then serializable concept is just uh, you are not going that. So, what is the difference between composition and aggregation? Just basic Java question. Uh, composition is the has a relationship, and aggregation is a is a relationship. So, okay, let me uh, just, can you give me some example to make me understand? Like if I want you to make, understand some uh, layman, uh, like a person, he doesn't have any knowledge about Java. So in uh, the term without uh, using a technical terms, how would you make understand a person? Like what is a composition and how, uh, like aggregation? I know Java, you can make me understand like is a, has a relationship. Okay. I understand, but I want you to make understand to the person who doesn't know Java. So can you give one example? Yeah. In aggregation, parent and child entity maintain has a relationship. Okay. Again, you have used that has a relationship, right? I told you, right? You have to make understand to someone who doesn't know Java. Okay. Okay. The example. Yeah. Example. Take your time. Doesn't uh, feel pressure. Just not a problem. A wallet has a money. The wallet, uh, the money does not need wallet. That the uh, wallet has money. This is the wallet and money in between the has a relationship. So you are saying wallet will be the parent class. The wallet will be the parent class. And money will be the child class. Child class, yeah. So uh, the coherence you will, ma how will you maintain between them? And uh, what is the relation? It is tightly coupled or, or loosely coupled? Loosely coupled. So uh, if it's loosely coupled, then what type of relation it is? Composition or aggregation? Aggregation. In aggregation, uh, okay. Okay, moving uh, to the next question, okay? Uh, just uh, see uh, the question just I'm asking to you, just keep in mind and uh, think about it after the interview, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, do you have any basic idea about uh, data structure? Right. You, you mentioned in your introduction, you are like very much interested in data structure and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might be having a knowledge of stack and queue. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So there is one method in queue that is poll, right? What? Right. There is one method in uh, queue that is only remove and another one is poll when you want to just get an element. Add an element, yeah, yeah. Add an element. I'm not talking about push. I'm talking about the poll element, which will give you the element. Okay, poll. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there is one method that is poll, and there is another method that it uh, like remove. Okay. Yes. Both method will do the exact functionality. Okay. That will also give you the element. Second one also give you the element. Okay. Yes. Then why Java people introduce two element in it, like two method in it, and whatever the functionality difference, why we when we have to use poll, when we have to use remove. Uh, poll basically remove from the end part and remove is from is, is uh, from front part. No, this one also you have to check. Okay, uh, you have any idea about collection? Yeah, collection remove. Yes, little bit. Okay, so what is the diff like? Uh, sorry, what is the uh, like default uh, capacity of array list? Default n plus two plus one, uh, n divided by two plus one. No, just tell me the exact number. I will 10, 10, 
okay if then again if you want to make again uh, let's suppose your array list will be fulfilled and now again a uh, new array list will be a create this thing this thing this thing okay different between uh, array list and vector uh, array list array list in array list uh, there is a uh, duplicate number for but in vector is not duplicate uh, element are allowed okay little bit more only one difference is there no 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 i actually remember one more uh, just okay not a problem take your time take your time yeah yeah, yeah. okay not a issue just uh, moving uh, to the next question okay so uh, do you know right uh, when we are using a hash shared or has map okay if i want to make my col uh, collection generic right so you will say like hash shared and in place of key like or hash map let's suppose i'm taking an example of hash map and in place of key you will be using an integer right and in place of value you will be using a string yes then uh, just give me the valid reason why we only use a wrapper classes or object type in place of key why can't you use, why can't you use primitive data type just like integer like integer and wrapper class but just type int float double why can't we use primitive data types as key no idea no idea uh, do you have any uh, idea how the equals method and hashing calculation works in uh, hash map equals basically the compare the and hashing oh, but in, working, in, work, in working with hash map how it works and what type of data structure uh, hash map maintain inside it when it is storing the element hash map what type of data yeah but hash map is in collection right but it maintain a separate data structure inside it when it is storing a nodes like uh, i'm saying a nodes but it is storing a key value pairs right key value in terms of some uh, data structure so what that data structure is maintain inside it integer type no 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 i'm saying data structure right data structure i'm not asking you to data type then key value then maybe a link list okay so that will be a single link list or double and what an extent because after some time when there is some threshold value it will convert to another data structure Okay, okay. Not a problem. Just work on your Java, okay? Before uh, appearing for an interview, I'm just sharing one question to you in a chat. Okay, just copy and paste it in your notepad, and just let me know the output of it. Okay, okay. Is... Check your chat window. Yeah, yeah. Just paste it in a notepad so I can also able to see it. Yeah, let's suppose you have initialized this count equals to zero. Okay. Okay. And in, at your instance level, class level, and now you are calling this method. So, what will be the output of it? Okay. Like, what will the count value? Okay. <clears throat> Four, four. Mm, no, check again. 
Three. No. Okay, not a problem. Uh, okay, just check this question after the interview. Okay. Okay. You have mentioned you know the JavaScript also. Yeah. Okay, I'm sharing. Uh, okay, let me share after it. Just uh, give me the. Uh, let suppose when there is a scenario. Okay, you just make your front end application. That is UI, and you put a uh, JavaScript. Okay, inside your application, there you are using a one method. And inside method, you just using a one var variable. Let's suppose that is a token variable. Okay. okay. And you are just fetching that token from backend. 